is this, the latest gear. Everything you're wearing is right here on my wrist. I tried to design something that reminded me of the, those leather bands we had when we were little to make our wrist look bigger. It had a double strap, so I wanted a double-headed watch. Check it out, the very latest spy watch. It lights up and it does all this cool stuff, and I couldn't tell you how much stuff it does. That's so jam-packed with stuff, internet access, satellite TV, everything, except it doesn't tell you what time it is. It doesn't tell time? No, there was so much stuff into it, there was no more room for the clock. One of the really neat things that I think would be really cool to have is a Ralph. That's a computerized bug. He has little antennas. If you send him into a certain place, he'll go and he'll listen, and he can climb up walls. But he's about this big. And he has little legs, and he looks like a dung beetle. It can tie bows, it can tie your shoes, it can brush your hair, it can do anything you want. It was one of the coolest gadgets. Thanks, Ralph. So many gadgets in this movie. The one that I'm, I'm most excited about seeing is the submarine. It looks like a dragonfly. I've seen the diagrams of it. And it's long and like serpentile and fast and just really kind of the, the gadget of gadgets. And I cannot wait to see how cool this is gonna be in the water. Seems like they get more and more sophisticated each month. Welcome to the Dragon Spy DLX. Everything is automated. <laughs> My favorite gadget in the movie is the treehouse. How everything's so high-tech inside. Chairs that flip and tables that move, and the treehouse is awesome. It's like, I can see in a lot of backyards, kids saying, Dad, build me a treehouse, you know? Looks like Gary and Gertie are about to get briefed on the Okada sign. You should listen in. They have this um, this wheelchair that is magical. It can fly, it can do all kinds of things. Fun, you know, pushing buttons. And I'm in my chair and I fly and I go wherever I want in this chair. And that's how Robert solved the situation of my being uh, physically handicapped, which I am. Ah, Joni! <laughs>